it was extremely sad to see uh, the opposition uh, boycotting the discussion which was initiated by His Excellency the President to discuss on the negotiations and to enhance further on the IMF program. It was only uh, Mr. Sumandiran joined from the opposition. Mr. Sumandiram raised certain concerns and also needed certain clarifications on the program and the President uh, agreed to share the requested information with the Honourable Member uh, based on uh, on uh, on on where we cannot uh, we also indicated the fact that we are unable to share the confidential data but the rest uh, requested will be will be shared uh, with uh, mr sumandiran and we are ready for a further discussion the president also offered a further discussion if the opposition needs to discuss on this matter but however the feeling what we have is the opposition was looking for reasons not to join the meeting rather than uh, joining the meeting and having a constructive discussion with the authorities and uh, the IMF. But unfortunately, they missed out a golden opportunity uh, in my view because it was the right uh, forum for all of us to get together and to uh, take decisions to further improve the economic conditions in Sri Lanka. And if there are any alternative uh, uh, proposals which are credible and which are accepted by the international community we were ready uh, as president said he was ready to accommodate those requests uh, based on the imf recommendations too so it is a golden opportunity missed by the uh, opposition and also uh, there are uh, information which are being requested by the non participated members and the parties the members who did not participate wanted to avoid the meeting and therefore they wanted the most sensitive information. Mr. Sumandiram discussed with us and which was not sensitive, we agreed to share and he was willing to uh, go through the collateral and thereafter further have discussions on that for improvement. But unfortunately, the other parties, the SJB, uh, the, the JVP, they wanted the, the, the sensitive information to be shared. But we are in the view that most sensitive information cannot be shared right now, especially with the bondholder discussions, because the discussions are carried forward uh, among the advisors to both, both uh, uh, Sri Lanka as well as to the bondholders. So if we uh, discuss the sensitive information without a concrete decision that decision will uh, will will uh, have uh, will make room for speculations so speculations are not uh, not the ideal uh, to have at this moment and that will also give advantage to selected people so i don't know whom they represent but why these uh, uh, sensitive information are being requested is a concern we have because if we divulge this sensitive information that will def definitely uh, have an impact on the financial sector and also will give advantage to preferred uh, polit uh, preferred parties of the opposition i think that is not uh, fair play when uh, we introduced the uh, domestic debt optimization program a similar concern was raised the only information requested was the most sensitive market information so we are not in a position we to uh, give out the market sensitive uh, information until we come to a conclusion of the uh, uh, of the uh, debt resolution so based on 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 market sensitive information uh, opposition not joining is not fair so that indicates one that uh, I, I i cannot endorse this but however if the market sensi sensitive information is the most important information for them that will not uh, reflect uh, good on the financial sector secondly uh, uh, there is no credible program and alternative uh, suggestions they have and that is the main reason why they did not join the uh, meeting but however president once again requested if the opposition is willing to have a further or another discussion that president will facilitate that discussion so this opportunity was missed but still they have another opportunity the president is willing to facilitate a further discussion so that if the opposition has credible 
uh, programs acceptable programs accepted alternative programs the government is willing to discuss and if changes are required the president has very clearly said that he is willing to make the changes and introduce the amendments to parliament and the opposition should also recognize the fact that the opposition itself cannot bring in any amendments uh, to the existing program or to any of the existing laws and get it passed in parliament the move has to take from the government's point so it, the government is the key f f key here so it is the government that needs to bring in these amendments so when there is a consultation taking place it is good for the opposition to engage the president was willing to engage with the opposition uh, uh, authorities were willing to engage with the opposition but only Mr. Sumandiran uh, turned out for the meeting and uh, the engagement uh, I think went off well. There are certain points we also have noted. So based on that discussion we will share the information which are not mark which are not marketing sensitive but which was requested by Mr. Sumandiran will be shared with him.